I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I 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 need it. Welcome to a video on how to get good at BFN Super Brains, a character that many would consider to be the strongest in the entire game, but is held back by PopCap's incompetence in actually coding a functional fucking game. Let's get started. BFN Super Brains is an assault class who is designed to get up close and personal with his anal fisting powers. He has 175 health and moves at the same speed as everyone else. Super Brains' primary method of killing people, if it wasn't obvious enough already, is by beating the ever living shit out of things with his bare hands. And these hands can unleash a devastating 3 punch combo consisting of 30, 35, and 42 for a grand total of 107 damage per combo. This makes him extremely effective when you manage to get up close and personal, provided the server is on your side, as unfortunately, his hit detection is absolute shit, and is about as consistent as the United States election system. When it comes time to put a new dumbass in charge, so as a general rule of thumb, never rely on your fist to kill anything. Just set your expectations to absolutely zero, and you will be amazed at this gameplay. The fists also provide a small consultation price for when you hit someone, being a minor self-healing effect. This shouldn't be relied upon to provide decent healing, but it can be useful in recovering small wounds, and as an encouragement to keep fighting. His primary weapon also comes with a way to literally throw hands, by holding down the fire button. This will allow you to fire a limited range projectile dealing a minimum of 23, to as high as 71.4 damage depending on how long the charge is held. Because of its limited range, it best used as a poke tool to engage against less desirable situations. Something to keep in mind is that hitting enemies with this attack will not generate the passive healing like his melee. So far, this class is best in beating the shit out of people when the hit detection actually fucking works. But now, we move on to the more reliable parts of his kit. of his kit being his abilities. The first ability of this heroic foot rubbing shit house is Ultra Ball, being mostly the same to its Garden Warfare 2 counterpart, but with two main changes. Those being its splash damage only dealing 25, and that a direct hit now deals 125 damage, allowing you to now finally one shot classes like pea shooters. This is your only true way to engage at distances beyond mid range, and can be used as either a way to engage fights with higher health opponents or just snipe those pee gatling pieces of shit who think that because they pressed all of one fucking button that they automatically win the game SB's second ability is Turbo Twister, which underwent a significant transformation. Instead of a long-lasting defense and speed boost, it is now a brief just under 2 second whirlwind of immense area of effect damage. Scaling up to 16 damage per hit and having a wide range, Turbo Twister is great against crowds, although you will need to heed caution, since it no longer grants any armor whilst active. This ability is great to use after you've used SB's final ability, the Hyper Jump Thump. The Hyper Thump Jump? The Jump Hyper Thump? Or whatever the fuck it's called I don't really care. The Super Jump basically allows you to soar into the sky a great distance forward before you crash land. Any vegetarian shits near you when you land will take 40 damage and be pulled towards you which will also disarm enemies of stationary abilities like P Gatling or Sunbeam. This is best used to either secure high ground or pull multiple enemies together for a quick few kills with Turbo Twister, allowing for great synergy in either eliminating key opponents, or just eliminating a whole group of weaker enemies. And with its short cooldown, it will be available for almost every situation you can find yourself in, which will be extremely neat. In terms of strengths, the BFN Super Brains is an extremely powerful melee class with devastating combos that shred through most classes, an ultra ball that can score key picks against medium health classes, and a super jump to combo into Turbo Twister to eliminate either singular important enemies or a cluster of them. 
However, compared to Garden Warfare 2, he is even more range handicapped, and not even reliable at his melee prowess with his aforementioned poor hit detection. His overall kit is not the best at anything beyond mid to close range, with Ultra Ball being his only form of long range engagement. So if a drone happens to spot you, then you are likely to be completely and utterly fucked. Now in terms of upgrades, there are 3 upgrades in particular I would strongly recommend for this character, due to how much value they provide. The first of these, is Stick and Move, granting a substantial speed increase for just under 4 seconds, which can allow you to very easily reach from victim to victim in chaining kills, as well as making it easy to get very close to them, maximizing your chances of the hit detection actually working. The next is Fallback Plan, which makes your super jump back back near instantly if you deal 0 damage damage with it. This makes it available constantly when needing to access high ground, or for quick and easy escapes. My last recommendation would be Typhoon, what many would consider to be his best upgrade out of the entire lineup. This makes Typhoon 9 escapable to almost anyone that gets caught in it, making Turbo Twister a guaranteed killer against enemies without movement abilities. Thanks to this guide, you will now be the master of anally fisting your enemies so god them hard that you can become a qualified surgeon in prostate exams. Be sure to come back for the next episode in 2 weeks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more shit like this. Have fun.